Okay, we're back. We're doing the eggplant today. And I just want to make you know, sure everybody knows there's the official taste tester right there. He don't let nothing go by. If there's food on that stove, he's right there. He's the biggest fan. He's the biggest fan of Uncle Gino, too. So here's what I want to do. I want to show you exactly the layers that I do for the eggplant. Oh, my God. Hey, the pilot, I guess you want to call it the pilot. That show's coming up. Uh, I got a couple guys lined up, a couple people to sit at the tables. Um, it's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. It's going to be laid back. And it's uh, Brett's cooking show. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, think of some names. You know, anybody got an idea? You know, hey, be nice. Be nice. I know you guys out there. But here it goes. I'm going to show you. Can you see it? That's the eggplant porn. Brett's way, like a lasagna. There's a layer of eggplant, right? Then we put some cheese on there, you know? Then I put a layer of pasta, a layer of eggplant, then I put some sharp provolone in there. So I got mozzarella and provolone. You don't want to go crazy, like I said before. You know, with the, uh, the five cheeses, the two cancel out, uh, a better guy, he said, I could name every cheese. I said, yeah, you looked on the label. If I make it up, if I put five cheeses in a bowl, I'll give you $100 if you can name every cheese. You're no way. Your taste buds, boom. They're, nah, they're gone. Nah, it's like sweet and sour. Why would you? I don't know. Whoever thought that one up. Genghis Kong or something like that. But anyway, the sauce, the sauce that I made yesterday from scratch again, I don't know what I did. I might have woke up and put something else in here. It's the best damn sauce I made I mean ever and they're all good but what I did with this too I started out with the country style ribs right you gotta have the country style ribs with all the meat and the flavor you know started out with that then I wasn't going to do it but a lot of people said do it so I put the hot sausage in with the sauce so not only is this eggplant parm but it's got a, a hint, a little kick to it, you know? Uh, with the sausage, you know, and I put a little bit of red pepper in there. And, my God, on, it equals itself out so good that you get to taste a little bit of everything. It's not like, uh, hey, who wants to go to Olive Garden? I didn't see one hand go up, all right? Because it comes out of a bag. They <laughs> put it in a microwave, you know? I think the closest thing they have to Italy there is a breadstick. But, anyway... I'm going to finish this up. I got another pan to do for a friend of mine. Um, can't wait to see her. I haven't seen her in years. And I made her a deal, and I'm going to stick to it. And uh, like I said, what I'm going to do is um, I might do a bronzini show. That's one of my favorite fish to cook in the summertime is the bronzini, you know. Because it sounds like a gangster or something like that. And by the way, my 4th of July Eagles shirt, you know, I, I had to get it. You had to get it. You know, I'm still up here. Still high with the birds, you know? So, uh, I, I should make a couple of these dishes up and send them down there to Kent, huh? I think they need their carbs. So, there is a layer of pasta in here this year. It's a lasagna noodle, right? The big sheets. Don't cook them. Don't boil them. Nothing. You put them in here just as they are. Fresh or solid. The sauce. The steam, everything's going to cook it down. And it's all going to melt together. It's, you could almost pick it up like a sandwich and eat it, you know. So, if you ever get any or if you ever want any, let me know. And plan on not doing anything after you eat it. No driving, no nothing. Because you're going to be laying like a fat rat. So, uh, everybody, if I don't see you and I don't uh, do any more shows before the 4th of July, everybody, enjoy your Independence Day. Ciao.